pillars of Nosgoth, pristine, whole, and uncorrupted. I had never beheld them in this undefiled state, yet something profound and indelible resonated within me at the sight. And there, waiting at the very heart of the pillars, was the canker that was destined to destroy them. I know you're there, Raziel. Mobius led me to you, Cain. Though I might have guessed you'd meet me here. <laughs> and if Mobius told you I was hidden on the underside of Hell, would you throw yourself into oblivion to pursue me? Mobius trawls for the ignorant and unwary, hauling his gasping prey from the streams of their destinies. Stay out of his net, Raziel. Spare me your elaborate metaphors, Cain. I have pursued you here for one purpose. You will pay for your betrayal, and balance will thus be restored to Nosgoth. And whose will is satisfied then? The will of Raziel or Mobius? Would I be better manipulated by you, Cain? Now, turn and face me. The chase is over. This isn't a chase, Raziel. We are merely passengers on the wheel of destiny, describing a perfect circle to this point. We've been brought here for a reason. I've seen the beginning and the end of our story, however, and the tale is crude and ill-conceived. We must rewrite the ending of it. You and I. Face me, Cain. Even you shouldn't die a coward's death. Isn't it customary to grant the condemned a final request? I recall no such courtesy from you. Indulge me, Raziel. All I ask is that you listen. This is the sublime moment of our undoing, Raziel. The ineffable fulcrum upon which swings the entirety of our history. This is where all of Nosgoth is betrayed. In this instant, Ariel, the Balance Guardian, is murdered by dark forces bent on overthrowing the pillars. Her spirit is just now tearing free, lost in the ether, trying to find its way here. You have already seen how she comes to haunt these pillars. Bound here by your refusal to die, you are the reason this land becomes diseased. As long as you remain alive, you condemn Nosgoth to an eternity of decay. Be still, Raziel. See this. As Ariel dies, I am being born to take her place as Balance Guardian. Such is my destiny. At the moment of my first cry, Ariel's beloved, the guardian Nupraptor, finds her corpse. Racked with grief and tormented by suspicions of treachery, Nupraptor plunges into a madness which overflows and infects all of the guardians who are symbiotically bound, including me. The repercussions of Ariel's assassination were expertly calculated. The entire circle descends into madness, and I am tainted at the moment of my birth, instantly rendered incapable of fulfilling the role destiny has prepared for me. Shall I show you the same mercy you showed the rest of the circle then? You blithely murdered them to restore their pillars, yet your hand faltered when it came to the final sacrifice. What makes you exempt, Cain? You're merely the last man standing. Why condemn me? for simply carrying out what you hadn't the courage to do yourself. Let's drop the moral posturing, shall we? We both know there's no altruism in this pursuit. Your reckless indignation led you here. I counted on it. There's no shame in it, Raziel. Revenge is motivation enough. At least, it's honest. Hate me, but do it honestly. Thirty years hence, I am presented with a dilemma. Let's call it a two-sided coin. If the coin falls one way, I sacrifice myself and thus restore the pillars. But as the last surviving vampire in Nosgoth, this would mean the annihilation of our species. Mobius made sure of that. 
If the coin lands on the reverse, I refuse the sacrifice and thus doom the pillars to an eternity of collapse. Either way, the game is rigged. We agree then that the pillars are crucial and must be restored. Yes, Raziel. And that's why we've come full circle to this place. So after all this, you make my case for me. To end this stalemate, you must die so that new guardians can be born. Pillars don't belong to them, Raziel. They belong to us. Your arrogance is boundless, Cain. <laughs> There's a third option. A monumental secret hidden in your very presence here. But it's a secret you have to discover for yourself. Unearth your destiny, Raziel. It's all laid out for you here. You said it yourself, Cain. There are only two sides to your coin. Apparently so. But suppose you throw a coin enough times. Suppose one day it lands on its edge. I didn't know what impulse stayed my hand, why I had so willingly allowed Cain to escape me when I had pursued him for so long. I had no reason to trust Cain after he had valued me so little, and yet I found myself intrigued by his words. I had been too cruelly used to so gullibly play his pawn, but if this world truly had secrets to divulge, I was determined to expose them.